Hello, thank you for purchasing our Attribute Stock plugin. Today we will see the basic example of the use of our plugin. So first of all, we are going to click on the Add New button to open up the configuration page. Where we need to first enable the status of the rule, so it will apply on the front-end side for products that match attribute conditions. Then add the name of the rule so that we can differentiate each rule on the listing page on the admin side. Now add the SKU of the rule. Now, this is the stock quantity of this rule which will apply when attribute conditions are matched. We can set it as 10 for example. If we want to restrict customers to overpurchasing products, then check this limit product stock checkbox. Now scroll down to the attribute condition section. Where we can create multiple groups of attribute and term combinations. So, let's create one rule for this example. Let's say we have a product that has color as an attribute, and blue as a term, then apply our rule to that product. Now save this rule, and check on the front end site with blue as a color attribute products. As we can see here, this product has blue as color attribute, so our rule is applied here as 10 in stock. Now, we can see other product, which not contain blue color as attribute, then our rule will not apply on it. So, in this video, we have seen how we can create a rule, and how it will apply on the front-end side to specific attributes to restrict stock of it. Now, you can create your own rule and use our plugins to restrict, attribute-wise product stock. Thank you for watching this video.